All right, guys. It is a exciting Saturday night here in my newest reincarnation here in uh, Mendocino County, California. Probably the only spot in the United States on Saturday night, July 26th or 7th or wherever we are. Uh, wearing a goose down vest here in the uh, in the end times it's the 25th I guess anyway guys I had so much to rant about but something happened in my life a few hours ago a, a truly gruesome adventure and, and I'm warning you I'm going to show some video clips uh, it's some disturbing images, and viewer discretion is greatly issued, but briefly, what happened to me is just an absolutely inexplicable error in judgment. The, the biggest error in judgment since buying a gas so I can pick up truck in Peyote, Colorado, I was just kind of sucker punched into going to see a new movie. I, I, I don't go to movies. I, I might go to one movie per year, but suddenly it just happened out, out of completely out of left field before I had a chance to do any research and use any discernment and critical thinking. I was invited by my friends here to go see a new Walt Disney movie by the title of Inside Out. Inside Out. It was truly... It, 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 it was a 94-minute descent into Dante's Ninth Ring of Hell for an anti-natalist. I mean, what in the hell was I thinking? I'm, I'm going to read you a description of the movie and three quick reviews of the new Disney charmer Inside Out. It is an animated. Anyway, here is what Disney has to say about it. <clears throat> Riley is a happy hockey-loving 11-year-old Midwestern girl, but her world turns upside down when he, when she and her parents move to San Francisco <coughs> and Riley's emotions, led by, led by joy, Riley's emotions, led by joy, try to guide her through this difficult life-changing event. However, the stress of the move brings sadness to the forefront. When joy and sadness are inadvertently swept into the far reaches of Riley's mind, the only emotions left in headquarters are anger, fear, and disgust. Well, I must say, uh, the, the main emotions I was left with after the opening credits were anger, fear, and disgust. Mainly the fear that I was going to be stuck with this for 94 minutes. So let's read some of the reviews. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 98%. Metacritic, a 94%. Common Sense Media, five stars out of five stars. Here is uh, the Washington Post. As fabulous as the vocal performances are in Inside Out, it's 94 minutes of fingernail scratching a blackboard or the vocal performances. It is the clever writing in lush visuals that catapult it into greatness, Washington Post, and Rolling Stone, um, this 
Pixar's 15th feature is another landmark, an unmissable film triumph that raises the bar on what animation can do and proves that live action does not have dibs on cinematic art. That is from Rolling Stone magazine, the same magazine uh, presently featuring Kim Kardashian and her fake tits on their cover. That review of in and out was probably taken from that issue. But anyway, guys, it, it's, it, it was truly nauseating. And uh, I'm going to warn you once again, I'm getting ready to play you the, uh, the two-minute trailer, the official trailer from Disney, which has been on a couple of weeks and has over 10 million views. I have been on YouTube for four years and just passed one million in the past month. So, uh, guys, I, I'm sorry to do this, but uh, I, I just want you to understand what I have endured on this Saturday night. But before I roll this for, and before I forget, uh, it was a classic ending. The last line in the movie, this adorable little 11-year-old is turning 12, and the last line in the entire movie from a 12-year-old child, and a Di an animated 12-year-old child in a Disney movie in the year 2015, is what could happen next. What can happen next? What can happen next? I don't think there's going to be a Disney movie over uh, what's going to happen next in the life of these 12 year olds. But uh, I'm going to give you a two minute taste of what I suffered. And then if I can recover, come back at you with another rant. How was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. Moms have inside voices. Did you guys pick up on that? Sure. Oh, yeah. Ed, something's wrong. Signal the husband. <laughs> Dads have them, too. Uh-oh, she's looking at us. What did she say? Oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. Is it garbage night? Uh, we left the toilet seat up. What is it, woman? What? We all have little voices in our head. The little voice in my head was telling me to get up and run from the theater. I'm joy. This is sadness. That's anger. What? This is disgust. Uh, and that's fear. Ah! We're Riley's emotions. <laughs> These are Riley's memories. They're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. I wanted to maybe hold one. What happened? Sadness. She did something to the memory. Is everything okay? I don't know. Take it back, Joy. Hey, Joy. Joy, no. Let's Wait. Go. The core memories. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> 94 minutes of this, guys. Can I say that curse word now? I have a curse word I would like to say now. You will get lost in there. What was that? Was it a bear? There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. See the world from the inside out. This place is huge. Imagination land? No way. Dream Productions? Rainbow Unicorn. She's right there. I loved you in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Okay, bye. I love you. on what's going wrong. There's always a way to turn things around. You can't focus on what's going wrong. There's always a way to turn things around. 
Let's feed the little 11 year old girls the line. When you feel good. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. When you feel sad. Never fear. They're all in your head. A major emotion picture. Yes. Anger, sadness, and above all, disgust. Mostly at myself for being hoodwinked into this. But uh, I've got my, my St. Croix rum here poured. And I'm going to come back with another rant. Sorry to have put you through this one. Bye, guys.